Well, thousands of Queenslanders will have restricted access to their welfare payments from today as part of the progressive rollout of the cashless welfare card scheme to the Bundaberg and Harvey Bay region. Federal Parliament passed the extension in September, but there are mixed views on whether it will actually work, as Nicole Hegarty reports. Bundaberg resident Christian Mackay is one of 6,700 people under 35 that will be part of the mandatory cashless debit card trial. The part-time delivery driver says it will take a while to get used to, but help save money. I didn't think I was going to be able to buy things that not that I only need, but that I want. But once I've done my research, I found there's actually very few things you can't buy with it. From today, 80% of Christian's income support will be put onto a debit card which can't be used to pay for alcohol, gambling or to withdraw cash. The remaining 20% will be deposited like other welfare payments. The government hopes it will mean taxpayers' money is spent on essentials. This will be inconvenient for some, but this is about ensuring that we provide the fundamentals, particularly for children uh, who are in this electorate, in some circumstances not being provided with the basics of life. But welfare support groups warn it won't help resolve underlying health and social issues. There is no evidence to suggest um, that mandatory income management will address social, uh, complex social problems such as gambling, drug and alcohol addiction. A local support service has a different view. Yeah, if it helps some families uh, better cater for the, the, the needs of their children and stuff like that, that has to be a positive. The card is already being trialled in Western Australia and South Australia with mixed results. But Hinkler is the only urban trial site and a first for Queensland. Opposition leader Bill Shorten says the scheme would be rolled back under a Labor government. But we will uh, work with the community to roll it back and come up with better solutions. But for Christian, the rollout remains a positive. I'm going to have that little bit of extra money to buy the necessities. Like, I'm not going to have that temptation to buy as much other stuff. The trial will run until mid-next year, before the government decides the future of the scheme. Nicole Hegarty, ABC News, Bundaberg. OK, let's take you to the UK now, where supermarkets and other food retailers are warning that leaving the EU without a...